Hey, what is going on guys? Phil here, and I love laptops. The ability to take your work on the go in a package that has great battery life, a super sharp, crisp display, and is all contained in a sleek svelte package that actually feels really good on your lap. But what about the laptops that are basically none of those things? They get terrible battery life, their displays have something to be desired, and they are absolutely enormous and heavy like the Dell M6800. Now I love my 13 inch Retina MacBook, but I spend most of my day on this. So in a world where our technology is constantly getting smaller and smaller, how are workstation laptops like this still relevant? Let's take a look at the M6800 and see how a behemoth like this is still around today and probably will be with us for the near future too. So addressing the elephant in the room, this thing is an elephant. It's huge. It measures in at 16.41 inches wide, 10.65 deep, and 1.59 thick. For comparison, the 13 inch Retina MacBook's footprint fits with room to spare inside of just the Dell screen real estate. And on the topic of ginormous, it weighs a total of 7.86 pounds, which if you lug it around on a daily basis is a huge deal. But that's not the point. You're not supposed to lug this around everywhere. It's portable in that it's able to be moved, but should normally be in one place most of the time. And that's really the key. The moment you stop looking at this as a laptop and start seeing it as a portable desktop is when you realize why these workstations are still around. Okay, so it's a beast, but in the good way. Its chassis and frame are made from aluminum and magnesium alloy, and it's likely to easily accept a slight beating between trips. And then moving right inside, we get to the guts. You get your choice of Intel's high-end mobile Core i7 line, but then you get the real treat, the discrete graphics. AMD's Fire Pro M6100 with 2 gigs of DDR5 memory, or 3 NVIDIA options, the Quadro K3100M, 4100M, and 5100M with 4, 4, and 8 gigs of DDR5 memory, respectively. It's configurable up to 32 gigs of RAM and has some of the best mobile hard drive and SSD combos you can get today with options of up to one terabyte hard drive and 512 gigabytes of solid state. Now before I said that workstations are known for having terrible battery life, and here it's a mixed bag too. With power saving mode and using only Intel's onboard graphics, you can extend life for up to six hours with basic internet and light work. But the second you ramp things up to full and use the full graphics performance, you're looking at more like two. But as workstations go, this is actually pretty great. Externally, you have every port you could possibly need now or in the past. On the left, you have a lock slot, two USB 3s, a microphone and headphone jack, an SD card reader, even an express card slot. In the back, a VGA if you still happen to be using that, Ethernet, HDMI, and eSATA. And wrapping it up on the right, you have two more USB 3s and one display port. All the bases are covered. Anything you could possibly need, it's here. The display, after getting used to a super sharp display like the one on the Retina MacBook, Dell's so-called ultra sharp display just seems washed out and unimpressive. But it's enough to display what you need, but don't expect to be blown away with vivid color and super sharp images. But honestly, who cares? It's a 17.3 inch screen which makes doing intensive work with CAD a joy when you're away from the dock. Ah yes, the dock. See that's what really makes this a desktop. Dell's docking system allows you to avoid dealing with the cables for connecting monitors, charging power, ethernet, and so on. So all you have to do is click in the port underneath and all of a sudden the laptop is a fully functioning and powerful desktop. Now this docking solution is a separate deal, but if this is going to be your main desktop computer, then you have to have it. So what's the point? All these specs are great, but who are they really meant for? Well, realistically, and you can see this advertised on Dell's site, this is meant for CAD design work and programming. Can you game on it? Yeah, pretty well actually, considering it does have a workstation graphics card, which are tweaked a bit different than graphics cards you might be accustomed to on gaming rigs, but it's really meant for intensive design work. So essentially, workstation laptops are meant for engineers and programmers. It's kind of the tech behind the tech that we use to design and manufacture the sleeker and more portable consumer electronics. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. And let me know in the comments below what you thought. And if you own a workstation laptop, which one do you have and what are you using it for? Thanks again guys, and we'll see you later.